Hello, everybody. Welcome to my video. I wanted to talk about uh, the Steam controller, gyroscopic gaming versus keyboard and mouse. And I, I praise the Steam controller, uh, but is the aim? I don't know if this is fair or not. The aim assist uh, that I get because I'm using X input on the Steam controller. So I'm get it as far as Halo knows. I'm running an, a regular Xbox controller. Um, but I wanted to play a little bit. Let's move the uh, bot difficulty down a little bit. Um, just for the sake of having more longer firefights. Uh, <clears throat> that way you can see me aiming more. Rather than, uh, me, you know, the firefight ending right away. Because we're both dangerous. But, um... I have keyboard and mouse input showing bottom left. Um, not showing you the mouse direction. I couldn't figure out how to do that. But uh, I guess that doesn't isn't that important. Um, you can see which way I'm turning, moving my mouse if you're looking at the screen. <laughs> but um, I will play a little bit, maybe for a few minutes. Maybe see if I can get a killing spree uh, with the keyboard and mouse, and then. Uh, grab the controller and do the same get a killing spree maybe a frenzy if I do it too quickly um, with either input and uh, tell you a little bit about myself while I do it um, I've been playing video games and making YouTube videos since oh for so 12 or 13 uh, and I've been playing Halo even longer I've been playing Halo since the first one came out, like, since my friend, my friend had an Xbox, Halo came, you know, Halo was on it, everybody had Halo. But, uh, I've always considered keyboard and mouse input to be king. Like, but I don't think the same can be said for Halo Infinite. They're, they, I know they're trying to balance it, and I, and I don't know if it truly is overpowered, the aim assist, I mean. Uh, I don't know if I know enough about that topic to have a valid opinion on it. Um, but from my own experience, I've, it's made the controller viable. Um, very viable. In fact, I have a way easier time tracking my enemies with the controller than I do with a mouse. And I don't know if that comes down to skill. Again, I've been playing shooters since I was a toddler. Um, and I've always preferred keyboard and mouse. Um, which is what the input I'm currently using. I know the Steam controller is plugged in and sometimes it vibrates because it's, it's using um, X input and when I shoot it vibrates and stuff. You guys know that. There's all three of them over there. So, if you notice, my aim is, like, almost all over the place. They kind of pushed me hard, didn't they? Couldn't take them all. Wasted my grenades, too. I mean, I'm, tr I'm specifically trying to use the precision weapons more, because that's what you guys want to see, is the precision. Um, of the two inputs. Alright, take cover, get my shields back. Ooh, that was a good shot. Well, specifically when they're moving is when I have the toughest time tracking them with the mouse. And those guys that I just shot were pretty much standing there. Let's see if I can get a killing spree. This is taking a minute to do. That guy was pretty much just standing there. Where'd he go? I used to hate the commando. That that's another thing I should mention. I hated the commando until I tried to get the achieve the per the perfect achievement with it and had to learn how to use it 
Um, it's not terrible. I mean, if everybody has battle rifles, it is, but like in ranked, I would never pick this up in ranked. Unless I wanted the challenge. See how I missed like three shots on either side of his head? I'm getting the doubles and triples, but that's because they're they're hurting the back the enemies, and I'm just cleaning them up. Look at that! He's like strafing back and forth, and I was shooting on either side of his head just then. Um, I just have a harder time tracking them when they're moving with the mouse than I do with the controller. But let's. I'm gonna pick up the, uh, I think I've been playing long enough with that input. I'm gonna pick up the Steam controller now. And the way I have it set up is it's using X input. And, and if you don't know what X input is, it's basically what the Xbox controllers use is X input. The only thing to note that's different here is I'm using a gyroscope to aim. So whenever I'm touching the right touchpad and I move the gyroscope or move the controller physically in the air, it moves my aim, which that by itself would be terrible to try to aim with, but it's good for when you're trying to precisely aim like this, like just a little target, like something like that. Um, see, I have a way easier time tracking them when they're strafing and moving around. If they're just standing there, it's going to be easy to kill, of course. But that would be true for both input methods. I uh, have the right touchpad set up so that it's like a trackball mouse without... Um, well, it's not mouse input. It's joystick input. Just to keep that clear. Um, it's not mouse input. It's still joystick input or X input. It just behaves like a trackball mouse. That way... Um, Whenever I flick, my guy just keeps spinning indefinitely, forever, until I touch the, t the touchpad. That's, uh, and I do that just so that um, I don't have to swipe a thousand times to turn around. So I just do a flick, touch, I've turned around. See? And that's, the, that's similar to flick stick, if you guys are familiar with flick stick. Um, I got that idea from Flickstick. I was thinking, you know, what would make it easier for me to turn around and stuff. And I was watching this video, this guy was using um, Flickstick. I decided to see if I could do something similar to that. And uh, I shut up and play a little bit. But to be clear, I'm not using mouse input. I'm using joystick input. So... I am limited by the capabilities of joystick input, so I can only spin as fast as a joystick would normally allow. I, um, if I were at max sensitivity, which I am, I'll show you guys my settings at the end of this video. Just quickly go over my settings. Um, I'm using pretty much default keyboard and mouse settings for Infinite. Maybe there's a setting you guys can show me that would help me track enemies better? I don't know, maybe? But notice I'm landing my shots better now, like, something is helping me track them way better now. You know, and, and you know, if Microsoft, if, if Microsoft or 343 is watching, you know, you guys, I would probably buy an Xbox One controller if it had gyroscope and the ability to replace the joystick inputs right or left, you know, whichever happens to be look input for the game I'm playing, um, with with gyroscopic aiming because what I'm doing is similar to a flick stick idea is where I just kind of flick my aim and get my dude facing him and then I use the gyroscope to do the aiming for me like this and that is just really powerful So, yeah, I'm just landing a lot more shots, it feels like. Maybe it's a coincidence. I sure as heck didn't get a nightmare with my keyboard and mouse. 
Oh, uh, I'm using the two stage triggers if you were wondering why. The two stage triggers on the Steam controller allow me to use the left trigger, a soft pull puts a little waypoint down. I found that way more convenient than having to use the D-pad or the D-pad emulation on the left trackpad um, to tag enemies with like this. See that? That's just so much easier to track them with this. The, the trade-off with this, and I think this is a side effect with the Steam Controller, is when I'm in vehicles specifically, it takes forever to turn in comparison to my experience with the 360 controller uh, back in the 360 days. Um, vehicles are just harder to drive with the Steam Controller. So are turrets, they just slow, turn slow. I just, that's probably a, a problem with the Steam Controller. Um, or something, I don't know. But also, the trade-off I'm making with, you know, keyboard and mouse, like, I obviously can't turn as quickly. I mean, I'm at max sensitivity in-game, in my in-game se settings, so I can, I can turn as fast as an Xbox controller normally could. If they have their sensitivity all the way up. This game is so satisfying to play. Oh, somebody finally got me and did my spree. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, let's see if we can get um, Microsoft to add a gyroscope to their future controllers. Because that would make them the best controllers probably on the market if they just added a gyroscope to them. And maybe able to map the uh, right and left thumbstick to it. That would be amazing. But anyway. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. I would love to know it. Um, I would love to see your activity. Um, thank you, and bye.